We're going to both parks and trails to follow up on some calls we've got. Traditionally, park rangers respond to calls in our parks to enforce the rules. Hey there, park ranger! So just contacting you, you can't camp here, you can't have this set up here, all right? Okay. But with a new partnership involving mental health clinicians, they can provide more. A lot of people don't necessarily understand that park rangers Rangery. are constantly working with so many individuals who are in vulnerable uh, situations. And so I'm really there to give support to the individuals who may um, have historically had bad interactions with law enforcement in the past. Tom Kaiser is a mental health clinician with Wellpower. You know, we get a lot of calls about um, just different crime that happens down here, so we want you to be safe. The partnership between Wellpower, a nonprofit mental health provider, and the Denver Parks Department started last November. When you approach people from a trauma-informed, client-centered lens and let them be the one saying, this is the need I need, or this is something that would be supportive to me, and being able to provide that, you get a really different response. Uh, individuals are so used to being asked to leave, to move. While the program is still new, park rangers are already seeing the difference. It's been huge for us. We've had so many more wins since we've been partnered together. Nearly 600,000 individuals are experiencing homelessness in America, according to an analysis by the Department of Housing and Urban Development. With this new partnership, park rangers are able to provide options for lasting solutions. Instead of watching individuals move tents and belongings day after day. Map on the back here that has a lot of the main resource centers, whether it be mental health, shelters. The mental health clinicians can offer everything from directions to the nearest shelter to mental health services. I really hope other cities across the nation um, can see how successful it can be and are willing to take a risk and put funding towards um, the programs like this as they're showing to be very, very promising and can really make an impact on the city as a whole.